It's finally here. Jonna, we've arrived. The time for talking is over. We are ready. Are you? It all leads up to this. The biggest event on WTA Tour. Shiseido WTA Finals Shenzhen. Sparks will fly. The WTA's crown event. It's the jewel that they've all been looking for. The preeminent event is upon us. The 49th edition of the season-ending championships where the very best performers of 2019 have found their way to the Shiseido WTA Finals Shenzhen. Ni hao, Huan Ying, Guan Lin. Hello and welcome, tennis fan. We've got an exciting tablet for you today as the Red Group is featured on this opening day of coverage. And world number one, Ashley Party, is in the mix. She will be on court later today. We'll start off with the all-powerful contest between Naomi Osaka, picked up a second major title this year and got all the way to number one. A two-time major champion taking on another two-time major champion who has won this event previously. Petra Kvitova of the Czech Republic, hoping to stymie the 10-match win streak that is currently being enjoyed by Naomi From Osaka. The Czech Republic, Petra Kvitova. and crawling. What a year for women's tennis. 57 events over 11 months, all of which has led a hint of synchronicity as the WGA's 2019 calendar will conclude in the very city where it began. From the season opening event at the Shenzhen Open to the year-end championships here this week. Prepare yourself accordingly, tennis fan. Things are going to get off to a powerful start as sparks will fly as we welcome you to the Shiseido WTA Final Shenzhen. Well, for professional athletes getting off to a strong start, it's often spoken as a primary goal towards success. Doing so a strong set, well, it gets the best way towards realizing that end goal. And Naomi Osaka was impressive indeed. A 9-1 in one start to the year, capturing a second major title. The Japanese number one is poised to make good on the start. Well, finish strong mantra if she can conjure her best tennis this week. Meanwhile, Petra Kvitova saw herself sprint out of the gates in 2019, posting 12 wins in her first 14 matches. The champion of Sydney was a set away from a third major title in Melbourne. A previous WTA Finals champion, she too is aware of what finishing with a flourish can do for one's enjoyment of the impending offseason. It's the 49th edition of these season-ending championships, and these two have come to play, as all eight have, as we finish where we started as 2019 will come to a glorious conclusion here in Shenzhen. Well, tennis fan, if you're ready, we're ready. We hope you are. Sit back. Hopefully the popcorn is already popped and the butter is already poured. Alicia Malik, this is going to be some fun to kick things off this week. Well, it's going to be a power-packed match. That's for certain, Kevin. And yeah, we'll look forward to these two getting up against each other. Zhang Wan also affectionately known as Jenny. She is the chair umpire, speaking to both players. Already an electric atmosphere here. And going through the final motions, a commemorative photo. But Alicia, we know these two bring a whole lot of power to the proceedings. It was an absolute epic match, as you mentioned, Kevin, through the Australian Open. The three-setter, which Naomi Osaka was the victor of. Big hitters both like to really use serve. I'm just interested to see whether Naomi Osaka adjusts her power ever so slightly. Obviously facing the lefty serve from Petra Kvitova today. We know she has one of, one of the best winning percentages on serve. It's going to be a wonderful matchup. Now, one more time, indeed. They've only met once. We'll break that down more as this match unfolds. Let's listen in for the coin toss. Thank you. 
Yeah, they're bound to get excited throughout as we welcome to the CR Shenzhen Bay Sports Center and Center Court as we watch these two try to take over supremacy of the red group on our opening day of coverage from the year-end championships. Well, she's the 22-year-old from Japan, the top player from that nation, 11 days after her 22nd birthday, currently in the midst of a 10-match win streak, the last of which was a wonderful early birthday present to win her third title this year in three finals. But Alicia, there's a lot to like about her speed around the court. For Naomi Osaka, though, where we start is with an abundance of power. Yeah, and I think despite the power that Petra Fidova dishes out, we know Naomi Osaka is known for one thing. She likes to step up, be aggressive, take the ball inside the the baseline and just ruthless with her power got up to a magnificent start to begin the season nine and one including a run to the championship match in melbourne to win her second straight hardcore major she ascended to number one in the world one of three women to hold that position in 2019 all in all she has brought the game in 2019 more often than not stumbled a bit through the clay and grass court season where she says i'm not particularly comfortable on the grass but when the hard courts came back into play she did too i think it's a huge advantage also entering the finals with so much ma match practice you just cannot buy that and for Naomi Osaka winning two titles leading into these finals it's just I, I think it'll really work well in her favor as opposed to potentially some of the players laying off a few weeks pre preparing practicing she's primed and ready yeah 19 2019 that is it started off magnificently for the entire tour 19 different champions in those opening 19 events including Osaka who in 16 tournaments this year four times a quarter finalist a pair of semi-final finishes and as mentioned three and oh in championship matches this year across the net from her a true talent who in her debut in 2011 won this event she's also a former runner-up in 2015 talking about Petra Kvitova the 29 year old just a small town girl from the Czech Republic who has seen big dreams and big things happen in her career and on the flip side Kevin the experience which Petra brings to the court she's been here so many times now her seventh appearance at the WTA finals is, as you mentioned the most experienced athlete here so confident in her ability. What I like about Petra's game is she has a great mix, a great ability to mix the play. Yeah, you're not kidding. In fact, during the press conferences leading into this tournament, she's all too aware that she's the elder stateswoman here, the most experienced player. But she says, all right, hold on a second. I'm only one year older than Simona Halep. So I'm not old, I'm wise. Yeah, and, and I believe you me, being in those situations over so many years, in so many finals, that's what I love about Petra Kvitova. She's always effortlessly calm. She understands the situation. She knows when to bring it. Most importantly, she executes when it counts most. Alicia, as an Australian, you remember we were down under in Melbourne and it was a dynamic final as these two met for the only time previously as they were on the hard courts of Melbourne in that championship match. Two hours, 27 minutes of enthralling tennis, but it was Osaka and her nine minutes. aces and 33 winners who was able to prevail. And look, this is a very similar surface, although I have to say that the bounce is a fraction lower. And that's why I think it'll be a, more of a contrasting match here. Obviously, in Australia, it's, it's warm, it's hot, the ball really fizzes around and bounces up. It's going to be a lower playing surface here. That's where I think Petra is really going to make an effort to change things up. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about the conditions inside, of course, which is an area where Petra Kvitova thrives. We know over the course of her career, many of her titles inside, and she thrives in the environment. But the aspect of the fact the ball's going to stay low will cause her to have to use a bit of a variety, which she has in implemented in her game of late. And no question. The, 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 the A game of Petra, of Naomi, they like to hit it. They like to be aggressive, take the play and the ball on. But what I've loved over the last number of years, and we've seen Petra have so much success on grass too. She's not afraid to move forward, take the ball out of the air. She's not afraid to use her slice backhand. And I think that will be a very important change up today against Naomi Osaka. There is going to be an interesting aspect for both of these women in 2019 because both appeared at the WTA finals last year and both didn't win a match for a bit. Kvitova, she went 0-3, didn't have a particularly good time playing, losing six of seven sets. And for Osaka, she couldn't even finish her third match, had to retire against Bertens. So both are looking to pick up a nice little win early to gain some momentum. I think that's important here to get off to a good start, most importantly. That's what Naomi and Petra will be looking to do here early on in this match. 
We know how important a good start being the front runner is, especially when you're such big servers, big hitters. The first break, I think, is worth two. Yeah, they broke each other three times each during the Australian Open Championship match. They both played pretty even tennis throughout. It was just a late push by Osaka that was able to get the better of Kvitova. She said that stung. Petra was not pleased when she left Australia after missing out on a third major title. So perhaps in the back of her mind, maybe even at the forefront, some revenge. No question that's what she will want here today. Osaka's warm. Kvitova is warm. And so are we, ready to go. As it's been some time coming, the excitement has abounded. The fifth and sixth players to qualify, respectively, Naomi Osaka, former number one from Japan, taking on the Czech Republic's Petra Kvitova, one of two players from the only nation to have multiple participants here, the Czech Republic. The red group in action today. Tomorrow we'll see the purple group that features Karolina Pliskova, the other Czech player, Bianca Andrescu, champion at the U.S. Open, Simona Halep, former world number one, and Elina Svitolina, the defending champion of these WTA finals. But the red group is our focus, named in honor of our host nation. And we are happy that you have chosen to join us here in Shenzhen. Coin went up in the air, flipped over and over when it landed. Naomi Osaka won the toss. She stands at the top of your screen, ready to put the ball in play in our opening match. Sit back, relax, enjoy the WHA Finals. I think that's a sign of what's to come already. We saw from Petra opening up the court, quickly pulling line, moving forward. Very comfortable when she is in that zone. Threads it through the line for Petra Kvitova. Already we've seen two second serves from Naomi Osaka into the body region of Petra Kvitova. I believe we will see a lot of that. Just really limit the amount of swing space for Petra. We know she likes to have a big cut, big swing at the ball. making her way towards the net if that was coming back, but it does not. And Kvitova with the first opportunity to break. That's a great return straight through the middle. Always so valuable. If you're able to get enough depth off it, often it will produce a ball drop short. Francois, Naomi Osaka's father, and has been often on court for coaching during the last couple of weeks. It's been an interesting relationship and dynamic that we'll delve more into as this match unfolds, but for Naomi and her father, how it's led to some success, to say the least. 
as aggressive as she can stand. Vekvitova comes out firing and has the break. Remember, only converted three of ten break opportunities in that Australian Open final, so she makes the most here in the opening game to take the lead First one game. love. She's come out with a real intent, Petra Kvitova. A number of second serves, though, from Osaka. I believe too many. So important against such an aggressive returner like Petra Kvitova to ensure that you keep up your first serve percentage. Petra Kvitova, you're going to hear a lot of cheers for her. She's very popular in China for a couple of reasons. Let's not diminish the fact that she has won a couple of tournaments here. Very notable ones at that. First was a finalist in Beijing in 2014. Won the... WTA Elite Trophy in Zhuhai in 2016, twice champion of Wuhan. And also good friend to Li Na. So all of that combination has led to a very fervent following here in China of the Czech. Huge legion of fans right across the globe. And Petra Kvitova, such an affable person, so well liked, really open, honest, always smiling. Look at that forehand through the line. Yeah, that's not a good sign for Naomi, is it? Yeah, the ball's low, but Petra be able to get on the stretch, able to take that ball below the level of the net and find the right rhythm and arc. And a powerful forehand finds its way through. And fouls it up with an ace. Yeah, so much so that as we watched her move through the Wuhan tournament to get to the semifinals and the quarterfinals of Beijing, Chinese fans were shouting out in Czech. They've actually started to learn the language. Petra found a little disorienting. She said, I can't believe they're studying their Czech to be able to talk to me. That's where tennis, Kevin, is the one language. I really like that from Petra Kvitova. The second serve, it's gutsy, it's brave. Kicking out to the forehand side of Naomi Osaka. Just keep her guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant beginning, six of the first eight points going Kvitova's way as the 2011 champion of this event and a runner-up as well in 2015 two finds her way to two love. And there's the dynamic just screen in the background. Everybody's talking about this on the far end, which is now behind Kvitova, is this big expansive interactive screen that's going to be able to show highlights, be able to use for the replays of challenges. Right now, the focus has to be narrowed for Osaka, though. She's in danger of being pushed aside as Petra has got off to a fantastic start. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. Petra looking for forehands, really eager to step around. Use her effective forehand. It is so good because it's very unpredictable. She holds it so long and so late, can either go cross or through the line. Just beautiful. I mean, that is textbook Kvitova. What I love about that, it, look, she didn't make her way to the net. She didn't have to. But immediately after this forehand, she hit it and played it to give herself the option if she needed to. Just take a look at that. A few steps forward. That's intimidating. Starting to heat up. 138 kilometer per hour forehand. Oh, there's some of the nuance. The improvisational skills of Kudova that she's implemented of late. She has fantastic skill, whether it be volleys. Uh, I spoke about her slice back and earlier. She's very willing to employ these types of shots. So effective, particularly short on a court like this. Out. 
This is just an absolute shellacking early. Not only has Kvitova dominated the points, but as you saw, eight winners already in these opening three games. She has just come out blazing, looking to add insult to injury and procure a three love start. What oh. Kvitova has done very early is prevented Lamia Saka from getting immediate rhythm. She's given her so many different balls, so much variation. We know Naomi loves the pace coming onto her. So Saka's camp, mom in the hat just behind dad in the front row, and everybody assembled, very focused. And Naomi has started to bring in hers as well, looking to make it four points in a row, save a couple of breaks, and get on the board for the first time. And saving her search game to get on the board. Osaka, but still, the damage was there potentially for Kvitova. Can't to convert. 2 1, though, for the Czech opening set. Well, we have a third member of our broadcast team. Time to recognize and hear from Sophie Amiak, who is down there, very close to the court side in good position. Sophie, what you got early? Tell you what, uh, when you saw Saka's face at 1540, she looked above uh, the net and looked at her camp and saying, What's going on here? I cannot get to a ball. And it was credit to Kvitova, as mentioned by Alicia Malik. I mean, Alicia, she just started so fast, so quick, putting really Osaka in such disarray. And I think Osaka is going to be really feeling relieved to win that game because it was all the power of Kvitova and attacking the second serve, Menly. You could tell that, you know, Osaka was feeling the heat so much and you would have thought it would be the opposite in some way, shape or form from the Japanese player, but none of that. So hopefully we're going to see a little bit more mistakes from uh, Kvitova's side. Otherwise, it could be a tough day in the office for, for Osaka. Indeed, as it was already poised to be pretty lopsided to begin and she shores up her resolve and shows a little of the tenacity that has earned her a spot as one of the last eight in Shenzhen. Oh, it's been a wonderful lead up to the final scene for Naomi Osaka, banking up a heap of matches. I mentioned before, so important, critical to have that match practice. But I liked about the last point, she started to employ a bit more shape, spin, more security within her game. And nursing a bit of a cold as Petra Kvitova uh, coming into Shenzhen and doesn't show any signs of <laughs> really any effect as she has gotten off to a brilliant beginning serving 2-1. As mentioned, been to the WTA Finals more than anyone else present in Shenzhen. Seven of the last nine years winning the event in her debut, also indoors in 2011, losing in 2015 to Agnieszka Rodvanska. As mentioned last year, she was winless in three efforts, so looking to turn that around dramatically today.
，谢谢。Damaging forehand from Petra Kvitova and great recognition straight after the kick serve, immediately looking for the ball dropping short. Interesting too, the three first serves of this game have all gone to the forehand. Naomi Osaka. Mary Vanek, former top 75 player on the men's side of things, working with Petra of late and yielding quality results with her two titles. Bang. From the fourth. Cross Naomi, I, I would be taking half a step to my right, at least get Petra thinking about the direction, switching, changing it up. Solid effort as Kudova continues to flourish from the line. She's only lost one point in her two service games, and that's good enough for 3 1. On such an advantage, having a great serve. Petra, too, willing to change up her second. Can hit it flat, slice, kick. She has every option in the book. Naomi riding a 10 match win streak. Go returning to the eponymous hometown where she was born, won the title in Osaka, elected not to travel to Wuhan, showed up in Beijing, ran the table there as well. But at times admitted that she thought her attitude, and, and I'm quoting her, I'm not making this up myself, was trash. Didn't think she was had the right focus and the right feel, but a couple of on-court visits from her father that seemed to motivate her sometimes what she characterizes a bit negatively. She said, sometimes he makes me so angry that I just wanted to go out there and just tell him to be quiet. No. And she let her game do the talking. <laughs> so she won out of frustration. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm saying that maybe Leonan, he used uh, reverse psychology and says, I trust you, honey. You'll work it out. Go out. You know what to do. <laughs> That's how you coach quite a bit, right? Sophie, we saw that quite a bit during Beijing and to quote her, she said, he annoys me so much that it makes me angry sometimes and I use that anger as a tool to win. of the type of player which Naomi Osaka has become. Managing to find a way now, so mature on court, to put all the pieces together. I should have to show some of that resolve here. Once again, Kvitova with a half chance. Net. Looking First to produce at least a break point in each of these opening three service games of Naomi. The right intention there from Petra Kvitova. And because I think the ball does hold up sometimes on this surface, 
Just getting set slightly too early there. Oh, that'll feel a whole lot better. First time she doesn't face any adversity. And Naomi Osaka, with her easiest effort from the line, has a second game scoreboard. A rematch of the Australian Open final. Off to a quality start in Shenzhen. Yeah, so Sophie, just uh, again back referencing just a little bit of the interaction between Naomi and her father and, and what transpired of uh, the motivation that she used to propel herself to that premier mandatory title was a little bit of agitation from dad. Yeah, and when he came on the court a few times, it was just, you know, telling her they trusted her, like you mentioned, but also telling her that, you know, to get frustrated was useless and that was not going to lead to anything. And, you know, we saw that against Barty in the final in Beijing. She was able to calm down after losing the first set and then came back like a fury. And, and you saw the demeanor of uh, her body language, her attitude, just calming herself down, moving slower through the court. And little by little, she was able to surmount the deficit which she started with and uh, I think this is about what she's doing here trying to relax she knows that she's going to be blown away on the court a lot by the uh, power of Kvitova which I think Kvitova should keep going forward keep being aggressive and coming to the net as she did at the beginning of the set I think that was really putting the pressure on Osaka Time. Thanks Sophie I could not agree with you more and it was unsettling wasn't it for Naomi Osaka Petra Kvitova out of the blocks quickly early Taking the ball on, jumping on every single short ball. It's what it will take to get over the line. Will being an operative word for Petra Kvitova the last couple of seasons, willing herself back to tennis, coming back from a devastating and career-threatening injury. She's also suffered some adversity this year being injured. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention the left forearm. <laughs> Right prior to Roland Garros, a great two tear in her forearm. On the forearm. left center service line. The ball her first was challenge out. of this opening match at the WTA Finals. Jenny says, let's put the replay on the big screen, shall we? And we'll all take a look. That, Alicia Malik, is about as close as you can get. Not even the fluff, fluff of the ball, just <laughs> kissing up against that edge. So, out by one millimeter. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. But yeah, the forearm injury Baby kept her out of Roland Garros, hampered her progress to Wimbledon, where she's a two-time two champion. But she's rebound Wimbledon. nicely as she returned to Asia, had some quality results. And now look at this dynamic start to this final, or these finals, mind you. Well, that's a great number for Petra Kvitova, winning 90% of her serves. Normally, she's around the 80 mark. Just rips through service things with so much ease, effortless. Such an advantage in this game. And particularly because she's had to win more second serves than first. She's four for four on her first offerings. But she's had to go to a second serve eight, now nine times. And she's only lost one point on serve thus far in these opening 23 minutes. Oh. Double fault. First to the match. 40, 15. I liked it though. She stands pretty wide on her serve on the outside. It does appear as if Petra is going to swing the lefty serve wide. Very difficult to pick.
depth and just low bounce has Osaka just flummoxed early. And once more, Kvitova just an easy hold. Finds her way to 4 2. Just really disciplined, too, from Petra Kvitova. Naomi Osaka hitting the ball through the middle, and Petra coming straight back at her. The same direction. Haitian father, Japanese mother, Naomi Osaka at 22 years of age, top player from her nation, and has, of course, as everybody knows, in 2019, been number one in the world. Change back and forth and finds a good angle through the court. Oh, she set that point up so well, Naomi Osaka, and just splitting the sideline. So important to maximize the distance your opponent then needs to retrieve the ball from. Mind you, with plenty of torque and spin. Look at that. She's found a nice little rhythm now. A couple of aces thrown in, and for Osaka, after facing multiple break points in each of her first two efforts, looking to make it eight of her last ten from the line. Kind of it, just a bit too aggressive, and Osaka another easy hold this time. Her first to love. It's just the, the break that started the match. That's the difference through 28 minutes. Kvitova enjoying a 4-3 lead early. And that was a particularly aggressive return from Petra Kvitova. She's really sustained that right throughout this entire match. And no doubt will continue to. Again, the ball just holding up. So it, there is that opportunity. It continues to present itself. And I love the mentality. Despite missing a few shorter returns through the middle of the box, which Naomi Osaka provided. Petra Kvitov just taking the ball on, really committing to that. I love that mentality because that's exactly what it is. A mentality, a strong mentality. Red group in action today and in honor of the host nation purple group will take the court tomorrow as the schedule has been released and we will see in action. And other than two seed Carolina Pliskova taking on the defending champion Lena Svitolina not before 6 30 p.m. local time in Shenzhen and then U.S. Open champion Bianca Andreescu the 19 year old wonder from the north in Canada taking on Simona Halep. <laughs> not before 8 p.m. tomorrow night. As Petra Kvitova puts the ball in play, 4 3 opening set. Next, second. Love 
Uh, Osaka's seen a lot of the forehand already, <laughs> Alicia, so targeting the backhand, a, a good tactic at this juncture? Oh, she's employed the deep forehand a lot, going back in behind Petra Kvitova a number of times. It's obviously a tactic. Petra, very tall. So often it's more difficult to move back in behind from the direction you've come from than it is to get to the open court. Some footwork, and you can hear the squeaking from the audio side, but just to watch it, bit of it, just so aggressive in getting in the middle of the court. Yeah, quick recognition. She's she's on the ball quickly, recognizing it, and again showing wonderful skill out of the air. She has tripled up the winner's total of Osaka. That's now a dozen for Petra. She's just four for Naomi. Oh, that's brilliant from Petra Kvitova. Just take a look at the way she gets down so low. It was a pretty flat return from Naomi Osaka. Really used her knees and her legs here. Brought her eye line or vision down towards the same line as the ball. It's so important. Have a great, strong, steady base. And in following it up immediately, she didn't waste any time knowing that if it was coming back, she'd be all over the net. And just to almost refusing to allow Osaka to get a feel for this opening set. Again, perfect eight for eight on her first serve thus far. Can't do any better than that. A trio of aces. Pair of double 15. That was a great return from Naomi Osaka, really adjusting her positioning on her return, making sure that she got her left hip behind the ball. That's so important when you're facing a lefty swinging serve. Get your body right behind the ball before executing. Trouble as her second double fault in this game has Petra in uncharted territory, her first bit of adversity. I'm not sure it's technical, however, did see Naomi Osaka encroach inside the baseline a fraction more. Maybe just Petra noticing that or thinking about it too much. Mm, only lost two points in her first three. Efforts from the line not helping her cause here as Osaka ready to pounce on the second offering. And it's Petra who is the author of her own exposure, not only adversity, but now a break. As Osaka has things back on serve. As she was biding her time, Alicia, and she found her way, and she's given a gift. Oh, the last second serve from Kvita, 154. Case an hour just putting a little bit more on it. I think feeling the threat from Naomi Osaka so important to maintain that vertical racket head speed. So it allow yourself to get some clearance over the net with your second serve. Let's see if Osaka can capitalize on the fact that she was just handed over game eight relatively. Easy effort for her. She didn't have to do much. 
too good. <laughs> Again, it's it's a contact point right out in front for Petra Kvitova and the few little follow-up steps. It's great intent taking the ball before it's actually hit its apex nice and early. spirited yell from Petra and she's not pleased with her performance the previous game she's come back hungry once more yeah without a doubt the longest rally so far this encounter between Osaka and Petra Kvitova and she's looking for it time and time again isn't she she's trying to jump on every single short ball no hesitation whatsoever dozen strikes in the longest rally as mentioned by Alicia to give herself a love 30 start A nice bit of work, aerial work for Naomi Osaka. Getting up to the smash here. I was a little worried there, the approach cross court. But again, going back in behind, Petra Kvitova certainly has paid dividends at times. Starting to get some good depth as well. Yeah. It's a bit of a, a struggling now. Just a bit. Not only the double faults that cost her her service game. It's starting to hit more errors. And Osaka. A sense of urgency. Just been pretty placid to this point. Just trying to play within herself. And has herself poised to perhaps take the lead for the first time today. class from Petra Kvitova. What a way to respond. No question the best serve from Osaka. 189 Ks an hour. Well, it was dealt with from Petra. Take a look at this. The ball just dying. Barely even rolling on. It basically stopped after the bounce. That's an indication. That spirited response. Yeah. Petra on the move once more. Wants that break right back. Fifth opportunity of the day. Good stuff from Naomi. Now, what I liked about that serve, yes, she went T with her slice. However, she did sacrifice some speed so she could get more width on the serve, allowing the ball to bounce and then continue to carry away. What's that showing to you mentally? She's able to make a couple adjustments. It's yeah, not just power. Absolutely. Switched on. Been a real mainstay, hasn't it? The second serve return from Kvitova often has gone through straight up the guts of the court, almost on the laces of Naomi Osaka. And a deep squat on the return. That three ball has been troublesome, and her second serves have been suspect. Another chance for 5 4 for Petra. This will be the 18th second serve Naomi's been put in play already. In just in game number nine. Petra would want to hit that yes. forehand 99 out of 100 times and feel she'd be successful. That one she's left wanting. 
That's normally the go-to for Petra Fedovic. Anything landing a fraction shorter. In the forehand wing, she loves to pull trigger through the line. Coming back. Uh, Seen a lot of that through these opening nine games as Kvitova produces her seventh forehand winner of the night. A third try. Third time tonight. Tamaki in the hat. Naomi's mother. Very supportive and often with Naomi on the tour. Although she's had her trials and tribulations of being the supportive mother of a tennis player and a breakout star the last couple of years. But she certainly enjoyed the success of her daughter in 2019, hoping she can work her way out of this hole. And she might just get there. She has been under significant duress, though, in her service games only twice. As she gotten through unscathed, faced a lot of break points already. Look at that, so effective at 135 k's an hour, just sliding it in. Very effective, playing the percentage. When you need it, you have to adjust. Perfect. Forty minutes is what it took for the world number three. That's to gain the lead. And she has it for the first time in this opening set. A trio of games on the trot. And Petra Kvitova's brilliant start has been quelled as it's Osaka out in front 5 4. So as the Japanese number one sits down, she's found her rhythm, but also finding her rhythm. Sophie Amiak. What do you got down there, so? Well, I'll tell you what, the serve is so important right now for both players, and uh, Osaka is demonstrating the change of pace. But look at how they start this. Really, the technique is so important. Both arms of Osaka at the same time. A little bit delay on the f right, left arm of, of Kvitova. If you stop it on the frame right here, at point of contact, you see how Kvitova is hitting it a little bit too low. I'd like to see a little more of extension right here as Osaka reaching as high as she's possibly going. And uh, now as we keep going through the frame here, at the end, you see both of them finishing inside the court. That's why those turn right at the body are so important when they come fast because you have to be ready so quickly when that ball comes so much faster off the return. And that's why it's paying off a lot of time to return down the middle. It's been a shot on the women's tour that has been really employed and worked on because of that matter. But I think for Kvitova now, with the way that she served in the last service game or her body language, I felt technically was kind of curving, and that's why she was hitting so many double faults. I think maybe she's going to have to really look up and keep her body up at impact a lot more. Now, Osaka, oh, go ahead, Alicia Mollick. It will be interesting, of course, if Petra starts thinking about the opportunities which she has missed. Yeah, you're not kidding. I mean, uh, two chances to break for three love in this opening set. That didn't happen. Holding on to the break lead. That hasn't occurred. For Naomi Osaka, no panic. In fact, that early break, no problem. Look at her. Three games on the trot as Kudova serves to stay in set number one. Sophia Kennan just yeah. taking in the action and her father coming in as the second alternate. Oh. What a season she's had. It's been remarkable in 2019. We'll, we'll touch on it more. Considering the circumstances here at the Cruz, it's happened 16 first time WTA champions in 2019. Kennan amongst them. Oh. 
bit of a back to her working, oh, wheeling, and dealing ways as she picks up another ace and looking to slam the door on another dominant hold. Her first service effort was a hold to love. even through 10 games. Kevin, you mentioned those 16 maiden title winners through the year. I've really enjoyed watching those. And empty killer, Coco Goff, the youngest, at 15 years, six months, winning her first title. It's been a very open season. So many names on the rise. Women's tennis is in a beautiful place right now. So many emerging talents. Also, we've seen them here at the Future Stars. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> the future is bright, to say the least. Oh, and Naomi, what happened? It was right there for her. Oh, she stopped, didn't she? Stopped and barely followed through. Or was she waiting for Petra to commit? Not sure. Yeah, going back to your thought on what 2019, just absolutely phenomenal representation as she writes the ship for the ace. I mean, you think about those opening 19 events in 2019, 19 different winners, 21 of the first 22 events showed that the parity and the level of play for women's tennis was going to be enthralling throughout the year. Ultimately, 36 different champions of the 57 events leading into these year-end championships. Set the bar pretty high for 2020. Every girl out there thinking, well, if they can, <laughs> why, why can't not? I? Should be my spot. I was really in between the last shot from Petra Kvitova. I think she lined up almost hit a forehand volley, but it was in perfect position to really take a full swing. Maybe safer to pull it cross court. If that's working as well as the forehand, and she's able to employ that from both sides, watch out. 137 kilometer per hour strike off the backhand side. Bang. 17th winner on the day. Saka for the second time puts a little scoreboard pressure on the shoulders of Petra Kvitova as she has the check serving for a second time to say in set number one.
tennis fan, are you seeing what we're seeing? Are we seeing a replication of the opening set from Melbourne? Let's not forget that back in January when these two met their only previous meeting, the opening set was decided in a 13th game, needing a tiebreak where Patrick Kvitova is trying to send things, serving to stay in set one for the second time. Oh, and Petra doing exactly that, which Sophie Amiak mentioned before, enabling herself to get up nice and tall, high, reaching full extension on the last serve. That's brilliant work, and that's how you use your left hand to your advantage, isn't it? Oh, it's a tough ball. She hit that, in fact, from outside of the court. And that's where it was so important for Petra Kvitova to maintain spin here, to get the racket head around the outside of the ball. at the net and more emotion for Petra. That's brilliant, isn't it? Petra edging closer to the net after every single ball here. Really loved the chip slice backhand as an approach. Stayed exceptionally low. Just forces the opponent to have to dig it out. And most do have extreme grips on the women's side. Very difficult ball for Naomi Osaka. been the more aggressive of the two and certainly synonymous so much with Kvitova's game. But Osaka usually not the one who's on the receiving end of so much as Kvitova with her 20 winners to seven from Osaka and 19 on forced to seven by Osaka. She's been the one who's been standing back and watching Petra wheel and deal. <laughs> Petra shored up her service game nicely since she threw in those three double faults back in the eighth game, surrendering her serve. Well, that was a wicked return from Naomi to take it to Deuce. Deuce. That'll get him out of their chairs. It's such a difficult return too because the ball, after it makes contact with the surface, is still sailing away from the body of Naomi Osaka. Just look at how she got out there nice and wide with her base. Racket early, contact point just perfect. Just as could have was starting to elevate her level from the line. Osaka looking to just steal this 12th game and the set.
again. A repeat, complete replica of the backhand return executed only moments earlier. Renami Osaka, look where she's standing, ready to pounce on that ball. Early in the f uh, first set, too, Kvitova really did a great job to mix up her kick serve to the forehand of Osaka. That's being brave, and she needs to call upon that, that right now. A good quick racket head moving through on that return, finding the acute angle, dragging Kvitova back to deuce. Maybe shaking up Petra's mindset once again. There have been some wobbles today. Saka's <laughs> loving the swing space from her backhand return on the ad side. Nothing wrong with kicking it or sliding it straight into the body of your opponent too. She gets it done. So the desired result didn't face a break point, but under a bit of pressure to hang on and remain Six present and accounted for in set one. Tarpon. Mission accomplished. Each player is now receiving one additional challenge. And so we will see an opening set reminiscent of the first major of the year. In the final, these two contested. A tiebreak will decide set one and match one. They're not thinking about that, right? I'm sure that that's not I'm at sure the forefront. <laughs> Look at these virtually identical yeah. <laughs> tiebreak records on the year. And both have been very proficient of late. Kvitova winning her last four tiebreaks, Osaka her last five. One, Good start for Naomi. You can speak to that, though. The competitive nature, I mean, a, a lot runs through your mind. Do you think they're thinking about what transpired in January? Players remember, full stop. Absolutely, they do. Well, then that wouldn't be good if Kvitova needed some motivation. She got dominated in that opening set tiebreak, only won two points. She'll want to get some revenge for that. Hasn't been able to pull away in this opening set. And remember, she was a point away, had two break opportunities for three love, couldn't convert. Osaka's dragged her into a 13th game. Crucial here, Alicia Malik, in your mind to help settle this opening zero. set. I think where Petra's her serve percentage is sitting at right now, 42%. Critical. She's able to make a few more here. I'm a big believer too. Stay the course of your game plan. And for Petra Kvitova, right from the get go in this match, she's looked to create, looked to move forward. She hasn't hesitated. She's trusted her shots. Still, just over halfway through the tie break. The only difference there on the fit of her forehand, not moving through the ball, just getting a bit stuck with her feet. And the tough part for Petra is she's now for the first time finds herself at a deficit and winners to errors on the day. 
got off to such a brilliant beginning, but Osaka is the one who is looking to finish strong. Half a dozen aces on the day, and she's got the opening five points. They'll play one more before they swap ends, and Naomi's looking greedy. She's been quite proficient from the line to say the least. 357 aces on the year. And Petra, not sure what happened, looks a bit shell shocked. Ah! That misses the mark long, too, and it is all Osaka six in the tiebreak, six zero. love. Four, seven. It's normally given for Petra Kvitova the line forehand. And of course, swinging the lefty serve wide. Osaka has continued to come back cross court with her backhand. And for Petra, she needs to jump on that. Rarely has she gone through the line. It's a massive hurdle, though. Osaka looking to pitch a shutout in the tie break. Advance to a one set lead and Kvitova left wanting. Just trying to save some face here, serving for a bit of pride. Mass. Just good enough. Wow, that's terrific stuff. Coming with the goods late. As Petra Kvitova showing a little bit of everything. That was just a really settled point from Petra Kvitova. Backhand slice, love it, more of that. Just needs to continue to trust her ability to not doubt herself. Yeah, we talked about the nuance and the added tools for Kvitova. She hasn't had to call on them. She's been taken out of the latter stages of this set. Tie break in particular is now Osaka with a lot of room to work with just to get across the line. And just a bit too much. Well, what could have been was not to be for Petra Kvitova as Naomi Osaka comes roaring back. Down a break to start the match. She finishes set one dominant in the tie break, 7 1, and has a one set advantage in Shenzhen. So the Japanese number one in good stead. Sophie Amiak with her brilliant positioning right there by the court side. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, we've been seeing really the movement of of uh, Kvitova throughout the match where she was so much going forward. And uh, I think like during the tie break, she come forward, move her you know, a footwork behind the second serve of Osaka, who's starting to serve a little better and changing also the speed of the serve and the position and the target, which has been paying off really uh, for the Japanese player. I, I thought at the beginning they were both trying to use the courts to their advantage by using a lot of slice on the first serve of Osaka on the do side and same for the slice serve on the ad court for Kvitova, but uh, on this last uh, tie break, Osaka going more to the T on the do side, just changing the position, and it's been working wonders. Osaka has found herself to a one set advantage in our opening match for the red group here on day one of the 2019 WTA finals Shenzhen good start for the former number one now at number three in the world 
has played some of her best tennis when not holding or occupying space atop the WT rankings this year. In fact, as the number four player in the world, she's virtually unbeatable, including three title titles taken away in 2019 from that position and now one better at number three as Petra taking leave of the court has now returned. Still to come, Ashley Barty, the world number one currently from Australia, taking on Belinda Bencic, the first player to qualify for Shenzhen versus the last player to reach the Elite Eight. They are up following the conclusion of this contest before you. Alicia Malik, a couple of changes necessary for the Czech in order to find her way to a third set. Well, I love the way she started. And we need a repeat here from Petra Kvitova. She needs to keep the spirit to the fight. I know Sophie mentioned a little earlier, did she go away from that attacking brand and style of tennis? Maybe a fraction more reactive towards the later stages of that second set. First, sorry. Important too for Petra Kvitova on her service games to keep a healthy mix of direction. As we see Darren Kale in picture. Oh. Just doing his homework along with Simona. I like yeah. that. They're ready. Announced that they will resume their partnership as a player in the front to coach in the back there in 2020. But he is here to help Simona. In her effort, she'll be on court tomorrow, as mentioned, as she takes home Bianca Andrescu. But from mentioning one native of Adelaide to another, you were saying. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Darren Kale back by the side of Simona Halep. What a force. They are one to be reckoned with. Halep, a finalist at this event. Looking to find her way with an outside shot, mind you. Of producing a spot at number one. She needs a lot of help. In fact, Ashley Barty really can just solve it by winning her match today and put that whole chase for number one to finish the season. But it is Halep and Pliskova with just a little bit of a chance, just a smidgen hope. It's kind of off to a good start once more from the line. Saka had to block back that serve coming in hot in tight to her kitchen. And it's Kvitova who manages to get the hold for one love. Alicia, we want analysis. You know who we go to when we want it? Sophie Amiak. Well, I'll tell you, I really feel like just what Alicia and what we've been talking about, just being more aggressive for Kvitova. She's going to have to find her way to the net and looking at all the stats uh, on this no. first set. I mean, you look at the 42% only of first serve percentage for Kvitova, that's not going to be enough. And she needs to raise that level. She needs to be more aggressive coming forward. And the one out of seven break point success, that's a, that's a missed opportunities for, for Kvitova in this first set. Thanks, Soph. Back to Osaka from the line. Struggled with her first serve to begin, Alicia. She had that percentage down below 50 through much of the early two thirds of the opening set. It turned things around just the right time. And that's what Osaka has done so well. She's used the width of the court on her serve. I spoke about her sacrificing pace for spin. And it's proved very effective against Kvitova. Oh. Too cute. Didn't have to be that fine. 
could see the idea of Naomi Osaka. And again, the intent was to go back behind Petra Kvitova. However, she did have a big part of the court open, asking to be hit into. Wow, that's great execution from Kvitova. Brilliant with her positioning to begin with on the return of serve. Really moved through the return well, helped. She got her weight behind the ball. back that for backhand mind you from Osaka as Kvitova using the forehand to target that wing wing. It was a great point from Kvitova too. It's like the fact that she didn't pull trigger too early through the line with her forehand going back across body. She has herself a two love lead. Now, this is very reminiscent of what happened in the opening set. <laughs> Although it was a break <laughs> and hold that led to it instead of. Well, it's break and a hold. That's exactly how it starts in set number two as well. So we'll see if he can turn this into a winning combination in the set. Osaka in this position has been absolutely phenomenal in 2019 when taking the opening set 31 and 2 this year. And she's won 17 consecutive coming into this matchup. Out. The challenge coming it was a late call from the line judge made it someone could have had to say well I'm not sure that was the most authoritative call I'm going to challenge it and she does wisely. Love or, excuse me the call was correct there was consideration taken as to why it was so long and yes she did miss the mark as it's long. But Petra was kind of almost goaded into making that challenge. And she'll lose one here in the set. Second serve from Kvitova. I think Osaka was expecting the backhand. Kvitova electing almost a hybrid between a, a kick and a slice to the forehand of Osaka.
Oh, such a different forehand too from Petra when she executes her forehand with the intent and almost looking to move forward to the net. Just so safe and secure, just adding that bit more spin. Works in her favor. Quite a while in the match for Kvitova to find herself at a deficit of winners to unforced errors. It didn't come till late when she had been so commanding, particularly with a forehand. But now she's minus five in the differential, including three errors in this game alone. And she's in danger of offering the break right back. Yes. Oh, that's vicious. Even if Osaka didn't make contact with that, she would have been in the side of the court. Where the signage is, just a vicious sliding serve from the lefty. There we go, holds this well, Naomi Osaka. Difficult to pick whether she's going cross or through the line. The same setup for both shots. Here in picture, we have Christina Mladenovic's parents. Action tomorrow with Tamea Babos. That'll start okay. the overall day, but for Petra Gvidova, four Ball errors Spears. and a break Punch of serve out. back on serve in set number two as Naomi Kitty Osaka Dominance. looks to propel Kitty herself Kitty to the top Stewart. of the red group with a victory in the opening match from the 2019 Shiseido WTA Finals Shenzhen. <laughs> Sophie, break it down for us something. What do you got? Well, I mean, how about the movement of uh, of Kvitova when she comes forward uh, towards the net and when she's aggressive we've seen it in the first set and I think that uh, again we need to see more of that look at uh, just from the net cam which is such a great improvement for broadcasting but look at the movement right here all the body language starts getting forward as she's pushing Osaka back this one she didn't have a choice to come in stays low physically the ability to go towards the net here and cut the angle for the volley and to end up winning the point with that last one right here closing in as well this is all about movement this is all about the athletic ability that uh, she has the flexibility also i mean she's a tall player and for her to stay so low throughout the point it's uh, really impressive that's uh, all about the power and the control and you know i often say power is nothing without control and that was all controlled on that point we need to see much more of that from uh, Petra. You're not kidding. Bringing in that six foot frame at, at a rapid clip, and it's not always easy to be able to maintain the control Sophie's speaking of, but she's been proficient today. And Petra on the move forward and at net does two things twofold. Yes, she's well equipped when she reaches that position. She knows where the spaces are, where to pop the ball. Secondly, for Osaka, she's always doubting is she coming in? Isn't she? Provides the element of doubt also. So I'd love to see Petra continue to commit to that play. 
We see the commitment of Shenzhen and the group that has brought this WJ finals here the first of a 10 year residency. Starting off at the CR Shenzhen Bay Sports Center center court. 7500 when filled to capacity. See the eight best performers in 2019 compete for the year end championship. Naomi Osaka looked to put a stamp. On game four here to get to two all. Anything you can do, I can certainly do better, at least on this point, from Naomi Osaka. Well, I thought it was a great disguise from Petra Kvitova. Yeah, setting up like she's hitting the double fisted backhand and just cuts under it enough, but the pure speed from Osaka to get up to that ball with plenty of time. Just an illustration of her great athleticism. First double fault for Osaka today. Well, now we've been at this for about 81 minutes. Shamalik, we're starting to see how things are playing out between these two who possess a lot of power, and that's the hallmark of both of their careers at this point, but a slower surface of sorts. There's a lot of fluff that seems to be left on the surface, a bit grippy. Had to maybe alter a few of the initial strategies. What are you seeing at this point now that the, the biggest adjustment Naomi's made since she almost fell behind considerably that three love start would have been a little more difficult but she managed to pull herself back in. So much more confident now greater amount of first serves that's a start. For Naomi, she's really adjusted, I think, much better at this stage in the match from the penetrating re uh, return from Kvitova handling the pace. It's not a surprise, nor should it be. Set up from Naomi Osaka. The wide swinging serve that has remained a constant right throughout this match. It's pushed Kvitova way off the court, really opened up space, plenty of it for Osaka. I agree with Sophie. She covers the court so well, so deceiving on the move, Petra. To continue to try to work their way through this first of two matches today for the Red Group, and both winless in their appearances at the WTA Finals last year. It's Osaka with a set lead. I think the hold here for Petra Kvitova is almost worth three games at this juncture of the match, particularly having much of the lead throughout the first set. It's critical now. And just for morale alone? Yeah, absolutely. This has all been seemingly slipping out of her grasp. The better part of the last 45 minutes or so. And she seemed in firm, firm control. Came out blazing. And much of that early start and the success she enjoyed was because she found a good groove on the forehand side to really set the tone early. There's a return to that sort of good fortune.
Again, I think it's a great serve against anyone else. But for Naomi Osaka, she's not just expecting it, but she really loves the swing space that Petra is providing her with the second serve. I just think critical for her to make the slight adjustment now through the tee or slide it into the right hip of Naomi Osaka. Get her to move away from the ball than having to move towards it. And you say swing space, you know, that's the extension, just sort of being able to get the racket head out, extended and, and hit through. Yeah, absolutely. And she loves room, room to swing and move at. And that's why she's able to create such great angle, because she's making contact with the ball quite a distance away from her body. She's not being jammed up. It's difficult to create angle from there. Patra was going to the forehand. Seems to want to stay, but we'll see if she goes back to the pattern on the second serve. That was uh, aiming towards a hip, but it didn't cause Hosaka any problems, did it? I mean, it came in pretty, pretty meager. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a short reply though, so I think it's a win. I think it's a positive, and I think it's something for Kvitova to maintain. Osaka with a third break, and she finds herself the lead far earlier in set two than she did in the opening set, and that's put her in good stead. Already a set to the good. Now at a break to the proceedings. She's three games from producing victory. Opening match from Shenzhen. Prosím tě, házíš zde jednou doprava, jednou doleva. Trošku víc dopředu. Ať do toho se můžeš odrazit. Jako kdyby si chtěla potom se normálně chodit na políky na ESA. Jo? Musíš to hodit dopředu a vejš. Neházej to doprava, doleva. Na jedno místo a tam použiješ tou ruku. A pojď víra, jeden, hrajíš dobrý tenis. Výborně to je. Pořád atakuj, pořád do toho pojď. Musíš, musíš. Ona vidí, že jako to ty důležitý balony, ona neudělá chybu. Tak je to o to, že to stejně musíš uhrát sama. Jo? Ale držela se zuby nechty, ona prostě teď kovitu asi na tvojí straně. Ona držela zuby nechty první set, teď ty jsi na druhém setru, teď udrž zuby nechty, to zvládne za pejdí break, než hned první balon do toho dějí. Ukaží, že fajtuješ, jo? Pořádně to rozsvíjí, ať ona teď je na koni, ale to z toho koní fundáš, jo? Hraješ moc dobře, pořád stejně, nic jiného neměj. A prosím, jak dáš ten forem do krosu, jdeš dobře a s tou lineou musíš jít jako by po ním, když říká dopředu, ty sedíš a zpomalíš ruku, chceš vám jenom hodit. To není tvoje hra, ty do toho pál, pojď do toho normálně, otevři srdce a jdi do toho, jo? Je to dobrý, jedem, pojď, 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 to dáme ještě, pojď, maky. Reaches high as number 74 in the world in the ATP rankings. Yuri Vanek, coach of Petra Kvitova, Alicia Malik coming down and my check isn't very good, but you like the body language and the energy. Well, I didn't understand a word of that, but I, I loved the chat. I loved the conversation. It was a two-way street. You could see Petra making eye contact with, with her coach. It's the way it should be. Both throwing ideas and thoughts at each other. It's healthy. If you had to hazard a guess as to the information he was imparting, would you dare? I think to continue to move forward, to go at it, go after it, take control, be the aggressor. She doesn't need to reinvent the wheel here. She's had success when she's executed. Play her game. Yeah. Good things happen. Sophie Weeby's dropped on Vanek. 
fifth of our conversations this year. Your thoughts? Well, I tried to listen and hear what it was saying, but as uh, Alicia, you know, I didn't understand a word, but I did see a lot of expression and movement about the serve he was talking about, and then I heard attack. I think attack is a world name. <laughs> And I would hope that he told it to attack and be more aggressive as well. <laughs> what's, what's that word? Attack. Okay, thanks, so. <laughs> <laughs> Osaka looking to stamp out any threat from Kvitova here as she produces her seventh ace of the day. Follows it with her second double fault. Yeah, there have been those moments that you see Naomi Osaka, and I think it's it's synonymous with her success this year that she feels some tension in her game. Sometimes she doesn't trust her own you know, feelings going through a match. A, a little bit of a slow start here and there. I think it's safe to say, Alicia, that a few times as a teenager, we saw Naomi unravel under those circumstances. She's really shored up that resolve from the last two seasons. Yeah, and she just doesn't show the same amount of frustration as early. Very good at not letting the roll on of successive lost points. Again, that comes with experience, maturity. We talk about the experience, experience of Kvitova. Now, this young woman in screen has had so many years under her belt. off the return and Kvitova just a little too pacey for Osaka to handle and once more Osaka under significant scrutiny and Osaka yes. once more just throws down a, a bolt and dismisses the threat father approves so I told you honey You'll, you'll, you'll work it out. I trust in you. <laughs> <laughs> believe in yourself. Believe in your game. You'll work it out more often than not. And she has in her 10 consecutive match wins she's put together now. And she's poised to make it 11 as she looks now to put together four games in a row. And give herself a 4 2 lead. That's been impressive, hasn't it? Every time. That Fedova has threatened with the scoreboard. Osaka has responded. Swing the hot that didn't she? I, I think she thought it was sailing longer than the actual bounce. It was a slower second serve. 128 Ks from Osaka. I'm inviting Petra to step in and be aggressive. That ball was chin high for Kvitova to have to deal with, but boy, does she deal with it well. That's right. Yeah. Osaka <laughs> left wanting. She would have liked to have put a racket on at least try, but I think she thought it was going to exceed the length of the court. So she's taken back to deuce. Not quite done yet in game six. Forehand through the line stayed from the racket of Naomi Osaka. A great ability of retrieving from Petra Kvitova. It's pretty gutsy to find a way to get that ball back into court. Had to adjust her grip. She went for the forehand chip slice. One of the longer games of this match thus far. Five and a half minutes already eclipsed as Osaka facing a second break point. 
Bit of a looking for her third break of the day. And she's got it. And Osaka, safe to say, disgusted with her performance in game six. Tosses the racket aside. And she fi suddenly finds herself at 3 all. So the little chat, the little conversation that we were able to eavesdrop on during the sit down between Vanek and Kvitova. Yields a break. And the internal monologue of Naomi Osaka starting to spill out. What they see, and Kvitova likes how it feels. Getting in, getting low, finishing volley, magnificent. And the wise idea to go with the depth and behind Osaka just left Naomi without any chance. Net prison. That's the way to do it. She really has reset, hasn't she, Petra Kvitova? It's the way forward. A check flag on the cheek. Yeah. Petra Kvitova poster. I'm telling you. I, mean, I better be careful. <laughs> Fan favorites coming. Next. Pretty remarkable, if you think about it, too. This 29-year-old from Bilovets town of 8,000. She decided that was too big city for her, so she moved to Full Neck, not far away for six town of 6,000 people. <laughs> she is a nation of billions. They love their tennis, and they like what they see from Kudova. She's putting up a fight here now. Looking for a third hole to love and to reclaim the lead here in set two. Dozen aces of her own as the battle between these two powerful women from 2019 continues on. Hour and 38 minutes in. Kvitova out in front and set two, four, three. Fans getting all kinds of raucous and excited, uh, enjoying the musical stylings of Zed and the vocal performance of Marin Mo Morris. The middle, split down the middle, 20 games, 10 apiece. Though Osaka has the advantage by winning game 13 in the opening set for a one set lead, which she's trying to make it 18 matches in a row, protecting a one set advantage. 
but now serving three four. It just seems a bit of a lull in the energy, the body language. We're seeing a lot of more of that rolling neck from Naomi. She just seems to be coming through. She's <laughs> dropped the racket a time or two, a yeah. little frustrated. She has to work exceptionally hard for this still. Biggest difference now in the second set as opposed to the end of the first for Petra Kvitova. It's, it's real measured aggression. She's not rushing it. Looks like she's picking the perfect time and making the correct choices. Just a bunch of forehands through the line. End of the first set, and she's certainly more than made up for that. Four. Kennan and her three titles in 2019 in attendance and present if needed as the second alternate. And Osaka dismisses the fifth point of game eight for four all. And again, Kennan part of that magical 2019 season that saw 16 first time winners. Sophia winning in Hobart to start the year down under. Also won in Acapulco and Mayoka. Kiki Burtons is the first alternate as the next player. If any of the Elite Eight can't get through all three of their round robin matches. She's impressed me so much. Of course, at the last year, 18 months, if you can, and just the intensity and intent she brings to the court every point, every match. Really love the way that she goes about her tennis. She's made huge strides and gains. Yeah, forgive me, I think I misspoke. She reached four finals this year, was runner up in Acapulco, but her first career title in Hobart, one of three this year, Mallorca and Guangzhou was the third title. Get that right for the record. One Baby and one home. in Zhuhai at the WTA Elite Trophy. Beating Allison Risk, but losing to Carolina Mukova. Boy, they're excited about the talent of that youngster back in the States. Such a healthy state in the states <laughs> is women's tennis right now. That generation coming through. Goff, Kennan, McNally, all exciting youngsters. And to go along with the, the players who are already established. I mean, yeah. those, that youthful movement's going to even push the Madison Keys. The Absolutely. Serena's the. Hot on the hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those who are unwilling to relinquish those top spots, Sloan Stevens. Feel that. We have Alison Risk. What a yeah. wonderful yeah. season she's had. Yeah, you're not kidding. Amazing. Yeah, let's not forget Amanda Nisimova. Yeah, healthy state. You're right. United States is all right. 
We're doing okay. What's, what's the secret? Wouldn't be a secret anymore if it was divulged. See our fit of affairs here as she wants to reclaim the lead. Just give Osaka something to think about when she steps the line next. She's so strong, Naomi Osaka, when the ball does jump on above shoulder height. Just so good at creating such extreme angle every single time from the backhand return wing. once more she's hungry to take this to three sets and she's gotten herself close so Saka will have to serve to stay in set number two in Shenzhen it's on there and you play you play high percentage tennis that's what you have to do. There are some points that you lost when she was serving. It's because you, you started going down the line. You started changing direction. Well, I'm serving. I made a mistake on my service. On your service return, you said? No, I lost my serve. Yeah, because, because you, you, you're getting upset. I'm so tired to sleep hard. She's more tired than you. It takes so much to sleep well. Naturally, I'm not a calm person, Dad. Hmm? I said, naturally, I'm not a calm person. Yeah, but you, you, when you, when you do well, it's when you're calm. Whenever you, whenever you, you know, you start thinking, you start acting up, you don't do that well. Okay? That's it. You can. When she serves, you know exactly where to stand, right? When you're serving, go to the, for the right spot. Naomi Osaka serving to stay in set number two, looking for a little motivation within as well as got some on court coaching from her father. So four, five, set two. Oh. Alicia, eavesdropping. What'd you take away? Yeah, that's interesting, interesting, isn't it? Because often she does a pretty, pretty calm and measured on court, but she said, I'm not calm, Dad. I'm too tired to stay calm out here, Dad. And he thought she was acting out. He just wanted her to play the high percentage tennis. He felt like there were a few occasions she tried to change direction too often. A lot of it was about emotion, wasn't it? Yeah, not a lot of tactics as we have a challenge forthcoming from Osaka. Yeah, I mean, she said, and, and that's the beauty of the encore coaching and being able to have the players and coaches mic'd. It did find the line from Kudama. Is that she was very revealing and saying, you, it's not really my nature to be calm. I'm not naturally calm, and I'm too tired, as you said. She said, I'm too tired to calm, stay calm. But she calmed down nicely right there. <laughs> That'll settle the nerves. Yeah, just intriguing. Yeah, not a lot of strategy. Really just came down to, hold on a second, just get your focus back. A trio puts her at double digits for the day. Aces eight and nine have slipped past Kvitova.
really love the setup at that point from Petra Kvitova. First of all, it was very creative, changing up the strike height for Naomi Osaka. Kvitova looking for another break. Has three already. A fourth would garner her the second set. <laughs> I love that she's not showing any frustration. Yeah, not always synonymous with certain parts of Petra's career. Sometimes allowing those frustrations to boil over, but she's been very composed today, even in the moments when it seemed as if the match was slipping away. She's hung in. And Kvitova, one more try to force a third set. And to a third set they will go. For the second time in as many meetings, they will go the distance in the opening match in Shenzhen. Kvitova, Osaka, one set to decide who moves to top the red group of the WTA Finals. Petra's looking fresh. She's had an outfit change. She is done with that. Now she's ready to get embroiled in a, a little three-set drama. We've seen something like this before, Alicia. Now, as these two battle for a second time this year. First time was for all the glory down under. This is for a spot atop the red group standards. Oh, if there's one thing that rings true with the name Petra Kvitova, it's gutsy. Time and time again, I've seen her come back from these types of matches and situations. She's taking on board a bunch of fuel there. On the changeover, this match could absolutely go the distance. As you mentioned, Kevin, history has told a remarkable story. And for Petra, I really get the sense now she, she's a lot more confident, willing to move forward. Just hit a, a bit of a lull into the first set. A lot of opportunities went begging. And I think she just second-guessed herself on too many occasions. She's too good for that. Needs to believe and trust herself. Just go for it. Be an imposing figure out there on the court. As Kvitova had done at the conclusion of set number one, taking leave of the court, it's Osaka who has done that now, as we expect her return imminently to begin this deciding set. And it'll tell us a lot early where Osaka stands. If we start to see some of the, the little pouty nature of whether or not she kind of retreats, or is she going to show us what she has shown us so much in 2019, some of her resolve? Yeah, it'll be really interesting how this third set begins, especially for Naomi Osaka. She mentioned already to her father, I'm a pretty tired dad. I don't know if I can stay calm. It's a real opportunity, not just for an outfit break for Naomi Osaka, but a chance to take a few minutes, regroup, refocus, and bring your focus back to this third set. Sophie, what are you thinking as we go into set number three? Look, I couldn't agree more with you, Alicia. I mean, we are at the end of the year, and it's been, uh, you know, going to be a test here for all of the eight players and I mean we heard Naomi Osaka mentioning she was tired and it's not only physically it's mentally so it's going to be survival of the fittest I think in that department as well and let's see if she's able to regroup because she was at 3-2-30 love and uh, that's where she lost it not playing not serving as well to save those great points See if a little mind games come into play here as Kvitova was already standing at the baseline before Osaka got back on the court to let her know I'm ready to go. What, what's the delay? Come on, let's play. So they will go to a best of one set format as it will be the Czech who serves first in set three. That's the 
other advantage for Petra with the style that she's employing throughout this match is she's condensing points by willing to take the ball on, move forward, really force the issue. Both players, in fact, showing great body language right now. forehand didn't have a single forehand winner in set number two despite taking it but this wasn't coming back oh, it's beautiful to watch too isn't it and instinctive and that's the type of player Petra is and certainly when she's at her best look at the way she's moving through getting a body weight through the hit past the point of contact Set the tone and set the standard for the deciding set. Come out with a couple of winners and an unreturnable serve, maybe a hold to love. Let your opponent know, yeah, fun time's over. Oh, and a little sweet touch to finish. She shows some power, she shows some finesse, and she shows her medal. One love to start the third. Alicia, as we take a look at some numbers from set number two. Yes, yeah, surprising that Kvitova wasn't able to unleash the forehand to much success. Didn't have a single winner from that wing, but still managed to come back and produce the set. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of breakpoint opportunities. Successful three of those times, Petra Kvitova. But again, love to body language, her intent. Only six winners, however, picked up her first serve percentage. That's been key. And now important for Kvitova to really step up, try and attack any second serve she receives from Naomi Osaka. It's asking to be hit. It's there. It's certainly sitting in a portion or area of the box. Naomi Osaka landing that second serve halfway up the service box. And I feel like Petra could take half a step further inside the baseline. 120 minutes on court in this opening match of day one. Remember, they battled two hours and 27 minutes in Melbourne. And Osaka walked away with her second major trophy. Now into double digits in the ace department is Osaka. She matches Kvitova. Well, how's that for a start? Server doesn't lose a point in the opening two games. As they stand at one all. Still to come, Ashley Barty, world number one from down under. Her three titles on the year, taking on the winner of Moscow, just edging past Kiki Burton's as Belinda Bencic has a terrific run at the Kremlin Cup to be able to occupy that eighth and final spot. That'll be our second match in singles today. The conclusion of this contest.
what you call yeah. using Keeping. the width of the court, both Naomi Osaka and Petra Kvitova jagging each other to the lengths of the court. Both stepping inside the base on such a devastating forehand from Naomi Osaka. Wide base on the outside leg. Look at the racket head speed. stuff and uh, I'm not sure she's practiced that before oh, it's, Alicia it's but it's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking this is just a great great feel great lunge look at that the desire for Kvitova to want to get her racket on the ball quite phenomenal look at the way the ball spins back oh, it's bouncing over the net again uh, Osaka recognized that thing was moving away from her she had no chance while giving chase pretty exquisite stuff from Petra Well, she's tall and rangy, obviously. That helps. She can lunge to the ball, but I think she has great court sense around the net. She's often in the right position, or she picks or anticipates the right spots. That's a natural ability. That's pretty natural, too. That has worked wonders, and that has produced, in large part, the foundation of her 27 career titles. It's taking that forehand up the line with authority. Faults not only this match, the season, her career. Every once in a while, they just start to rear their head. I feel like she really slowed up her racket head speed almost to hit a safer second serve. And of course, I think it's exactly the opposite. You want a safe second serve, you need to increase your racket head speed, generate more spin so the ball dips down and drops into the court a lot quicker. Seventh double fault puts her in jeopardy early. She dismisses it, gets that corkscrew working, yes. and that lefty serve just sort of getting away, even though Osaka's handled it pretty well. Couldn't handle it there. to the first set she put forth three double faults and the final four points gave away that game and it ended up costing her the, uh, the lead that she had produced early and that snowman not sitting well for Petra at this juncture as Osaka with a chance to break once more it would be a fourth today. Court, but can't clear the net, and Osaka has the break she was seeking. Coach coming down to the court, and it's Osaka who finds herself a chance back in front, and she does so. 2 1 third set.
vidíš ten první servis, když to hodíš na sebe a chceš tam jenom dostávat, tak pak uděláš i ten druhý servis takhle. Tě vodník neupadl. Házej si to pořád stejně, pořád trošku dopředu, až do tom, že žijí. Jo, ten na musí jít stejný. Protože po takovýhle po dvou hodinách, když to budeš házet jednou tam, jednou tam, tak budeš prostě na to nepřemýšlej. Jenom víra, jenom víra v sama sebe, ti tě dostane, jo? Ona ti zase šanci dá, ukaží, ukaží to, prostě fajt, ten jeden každý volný, jezdíš tam, dobře, zvedeš to všechno správně. Když budeš, chce to občas u toho druhého jak to má tady v ruce, tak ti tam dává ty nechutý returny, prostě občas jí grafí to tělo. No ale proč na to, tak na to nepřemýšlej. Vidíš, že to, tak jí dávej tělo, ať tam nemůže dát. Jo, jestli to je pramení z toho ten, občas ten deblík, z toho, že se bojíš, aby ti nedal dobrý ten, tak jí dávej tělo a z toho ti ona to nezabije. Hraj to přísně. Jo? Když se snažíš jakoby to udělat jako tak nějak tam dostat cokoliv, tak je z toho chyba. Ty hraj svoji hru, to, co ti vyznačuje. Ty jsi Petra tím, že to toho hulíš, pálíš do toho, musíš tomu věřit, že tam bude chodit a to je celý, tím to bude chodit, jo? Nesmíš čekat, protože jak budou pomalejší balony, zase druhý servis, tě nepřekvapí pomalým druhým servisem. Jasně, a dá brutální druhý servis. Na se do toho, jeden, pojď, víra. Juri Vanek, once again, returning to the stadium floor to confer with Petra Kvitova. And see if they can produce a little comeback turnaround here in this deciding set as Naomi Osaka has broken for 2 1. It's not the way Petra Kvitova really took the return on and was prepared to take a bigger step forward. I think it's a great visual to give to the server too. When you increase your stance closer to the net, it's intimidating. Took the ball so much earlier, it proved very effective. Keeps finding it, doesn't she, Naomi Osaka, when she really yeah. needs a big serve. Picks it at the right time. Yeah, you're not kidding. I mean, 24 winners today, half of them have been aces. Oh, good lunge. Did that find its way in? Did not. But she just sent another little message to Osaka that, all right, it'll take a little bit more than just trying to stretch me out to the side. This ball's going to come back. You've got to be ready. But no joy for Kvitova as Osaka poised for 3 1. And she's got it. It's a good start for Osaka from the line, You're losing just one point in two service games. More importantly, got that break. And that's three games in a row. just settled every time required throughout this match when she's faced a hurdle Naomi Osaka she's responded and then some
such a great skill of Naomi Osaka's to produce such acute angle from her backhand wing, whether it be wide where she's moving towards the lead, even a lot that are through the middle. She's able to create. It's obvious. It's often her prefer preferred side. She'll step around a forehand so she can manufacture a backhand. Lack of placement as she puts number seven on the board. In the ace department, Kvitova, 19 aces combined in this opening match. On day one from Shenzhen. Oh, the one two punch from Petra Kvitova. Perfect placement on the serve, and then really just redirecting the pace provided from the racket of Osaka. Again, controlled aggression, positioned it in a safe spot. short ball it's at a tricky angle and spoiling could have bid for a second hole to love in the set fifth for the match see if Petra can put herself in good stead dead nonetheless Wide called wide, no challenge from Osaka. Or will there be? No, there will not, says Jenny. So Kaputova has the hold in a game, separates Osaka the two three in set two. three. World number three, Naomi Osaka taking on number six, Petra Kvitova, who has a career high ranking at number two, which she achieved back in 2011 for the first time after making her debut at the season ending championships and running the table. 5 0 record. Now finding herself in a bit of a hole, a break in game three. The difference on the scoreboard in the third set as Osaka tries to protect that lead, move atop the red group. If she settles down here, Alicia, she's had some kind of a, a little bit of an emotional roller coaster ride, although it's it's very subtle at times. But we know you can start to see the and recognize some ticks in the body language as to when she's feeling a little more in control of things. Let's see if she can keep the angry birds from circling and just kind of keep a bright, cheery demeanor, give herself a fighting chance to get through this.
Fair There's no question when she's calm, she gets clearer, better decisions. from Naomi Osaka. She's used her wide swinging serve so effectively here tonight against Kvitova. Takes a lot of pace off the ball, just continues to swing. And she can do that. Why not employ it a little bit more, Naomi Osaka? Hear it in the footwork from the end of Naomi Osaka. The slight adjustments, getting into perfect position. Just so hungry to always take the ball on the rise continually. Just always takes time away from her opponent. This could probably be in action tomorrow. The other player from the Czech Republic, Carolina taking on Lee Svitolina, the defending champion. Oh. Half of the moment for posterity, and as she sees her fellow Czech battling to try to get this to three all. Another forehand winner for Petra. I set up perfectly. With the forehand that splits the sideline, that's critical. If you want to make space, you have to get the ball working away from the surface. Oh, once again, finding herself in the middle of the court as there's Osaka, and she takes that one high above the shoulders. Deposit through the court. Does you feel like Petra starts to get some sort of momentum? Back, Osaka's there. Really puts a halt to it. Okay. And then Osaka has herself four two. And start starting to feel a little more positive What's about things. Means? Four games to do. Bit of a left wanting. Crucial moment. This is basically critical for Kvitova, isn't it? Uh, get, producing a hold here. Otherwise, she will now be up against it and in danger of losing four consecutive matches at the WTA Finals. 0 and 3 last year and starting off with a loss this year. Yikes. And Osaka was 0 and 3 last year as well. But she's put, put herself in good stead. Pops likes it. Naomi, Naomi won't admit it yet, but she probably likes it too. That backhand working wonders. Now oh, she set the point up beautifully time and time again. Naomi Osaka, as per the conversation with her father, to play the high percentages. She's been prepared to go back in the same direction a number of times. Not rushing her aggression.
Yeah, that's Love. reared its head all too often. And now at an inopportune time, a ninth double fault as Kvitova folding here. Osaka looking to seize reins, a little insurance break, a little padding to put herself to the line. A chance to serve it out if she can convert here from Love 40. Of course, the old follow the double fault with an ace. Well, that's one way to rid some pressure. You just free up when you've, you've hit a double fault. You like it. You always think I'm going for this. I'm going after it. Nothing to lose. If only that mentality could remain. Oh, she missed it. She let Osaka okay. off the hook with that middle ball, and then her volley is wide and a break. For the Japanese number one and a chance to serve it out. She'll step to the line with a chance to put herself in the front position. A forward win. And the red group sitting atop it could be Naomi Osaka when she stands up next. Well, particularly paying attention. Naomi Osaka has been our own Sophie Amiak. Yeah, and pay attention also to the movement of Osaka. When we talk about the movement of athleticism of Kvitova, but how about Osaka? First to serve, that wide serve that has been really working wonders. But look at the movement and the ability for Osaka to get out of trouble on that deep ball. And then all of a sudden she sees the opportunity. She sees that ball, takes it in the air and comes forward on it. And the overhead right here. And a good recovery for her. Uh, for Kvitova giving her one more overhead here, but the movement to try to get ready on every single shot. And you know, she's very athletic herself. What a player she is. And she's got it out of trouble, really with the serve, I think, throughout the match. When it was important, when she's down, when she's at 30 all, she pulls that often, that really wide serve that has uh, been paying a ton of dividend. And her serve has been the quality, I think, throughout this match for Osaka to uh, get her to the stage where she will serve now for the match. Great, Sophie. And he just continues to put that forward Time. momentum and pressure in the middle of the court. That just adds another little wrinkle that the opponents have to work with. Bit of it hasn't responded well here in the decider. Brought in a little tug of war for the second time in 2019 with Petra Kvitova, but Naomi Osaka is poised to move through and produce a victory in the opening match in Shenzhen and look to continue her trend, taking the opening set and producing victories. 31 and 2 on the year, 17 in a row, number 18 at the offer if she can hold serve 5 2. There's plenty of fight and firepower left in Petra Kvitova just yet. Saka certainly dealing with the first shot after the serve so much better. There's nothing like a Kvitova on the attack.
Patrick Pitova just not giving herself much of a chance that that flat ball can't clear the center of the net. And one minute longer than they had to endure against each other in the final down under. It's Osaka who arrives. Double match point. Toe to toe, eyeball to eyeball, but pretty close proximity to each other, and it's Kvitova who managed to stay relevant. Saka with a second try. Sit atop the red group. Showing once again she's worthy not only of her presence in Shenzhen, but that she's not afraid to continue to battle tough. Not going to give it to Osaka. A pair of match points saved. That's a reward you get for hitting out in those desired moments. And Petra Kvitova is one of those players on the big points she is prepared to unleash. It's what she's so well known for. Seen it too many times now. Can't deal with it, and from match points down to a break of serve for Kvitova, and she is present and accounted for here in the third. Oh, what a trait! What a great ability to absolutely go for it, not be afraid in those crucial, critical moments. She never goes away, Petra Kvitova. Been a little bit of feast or famine from the line in this set for the Czech. She held the love to begin, then was broken in her next service game. Lost one point in her third effort and was broken in her fourth try. So something's got to give here, and she knows if she falters, she's eliminated from this match and falls behind. So hey. how she responds, and she responds well to start. I think Petra's the type of player that almost thrives on this moment. I don't think she'd be bothered by this scoreline. Absolutely not. She likes a challenge. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's got the arsenal. She's got the capability.
think, though, also of what she's had to endure not only the last couple of seasons, you know, thinking back to the attack in her home that left her hand damaged to the point where they only gave her a 10 percent chance of ever playing tennis again. The forearm injury this year that kept her off tour. She seems to almost have a serenity to herself now where the things that used to bother and irk her and, and disrupt her pattern aren't as important anymore. She's able to sort of shake them off. Some serenity that has come to her, just a, a little more of a different approach. How important things are, it, it certainly left her in good stead this year. I mean, magnificent to be able to give herself a couple extra titles. Come back from the forearm injury that kept her out of Roland Garros and really dismantled her bid at Wimbledon. to close the gap to a single game here as Osaka a little jittery here wants to get a good return. Oh. Will she be given the chance? Oh, such a quality oh. serve from Petra Kvitova <laughs> purely because she applied a lot of curve to the ball. The depth hit the exact corner of the box. We've seen Osaka have a lot of success in fact on that wing but I think if well, yeah. they're waiting. She's eager, ready. Ties. He wants to get on court too. Craig Tizer, Ash Barty's coach. World number one in the wings. Thinking, I thought I was going to be on court by now. Okay. But Petra said, no, no, no. Ash, go back. Yeah. Set Warm up in. again. Warm up again. Yeah. And again. You and, and again. You and Belinda will have to wait because I'm taking four. this thing further. And she's cut the gap to a single game. And Osaka with work left to do. Just a little chat, just a little talk with herself, Naomi Osaka, and her motivation to finish off this match. A couple of match points. Basically, the better part of eight minutes ago, we're at their disposal. Suddenly, Petra Kvitova stood up and said, uh, Concession, not in my vocabulary. We're going to play on. Serving for the match for a second time. She wants to get this done and quick, Naomi Osaka. You can just see by the way she's positioning the ball, putting it in very safe spots, almost too safe. Yeah. For my liking. I, I know what you're saying. Whoa. <laughs> that, that wasn't too safe, was it? 
<laughs> I take that back. Can, can I retract my... No, you were right at the time, but she seemed to have heard you and said, I'm going to go for a little bit more, but almost cut that too close. But <laughs> Now another chance to give herself a third match point. Whew. that backhand up the line says okay give me another chance to wrap this up get in the winner's circle thank you and that'll do it yeah, she was disappointed in 2018 at the WTA Finals 0-3. In fact, couldn't even complete her final match, but she's in the win column now. And for the second time in as many meetings in 2019, she outlasts Petra Kvitova 6-4 in the third. She did it down under for the title, and she's got off to a good start in Shenzhen in 2019. Naomi Osaka, 7-6, 4-6, 6-4 in two hours and 39 minutes. That was a case of really staying the course for Naomi Osaka. And yes, Kvitova, she was on the hunt, trying to encroach the net, move forward, be aggressive. There was enough in Naomi Osaka's arsenal to really hold Petra Kvitova back. But what impressed me the most throughout this match was the way Naomi Osaka responded with her serving. Yes, faced most, multiple break points, but came up with something very offensive, big, served big at the right times. And that's the reason why she was able to win this match. A great win, solid. First win here in the finals for Naomi Osaka. And for Petra Kvitova, she takes leave of the court. She has found herself in semifinals in Wuhan, quarterfinals in Beijing, but now has lost four straight at WTA Finals, 0-3 last year, and now in the loss to Osaka, finds herself at a deficit and at the bottom of the red group. Naomi's performance looked good to us. How'd she feel about it today? Naomi, that match had everything in it. It was like a final of a Grand Slam, literally, right? You come into a match like this when, when it's round robin, you've got to bring your best game. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it was very difficult because um, you usually have first round jitters and you can't really afford it. As you can see, like, she clearly, like, started going really hard at me um, from the beginning and um, I just had to adjust to it. 